Yo, what up? My name is Derek, and today I'm going to show you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings in 2021 for gaming. Now, before we open it up, I'm going to make sure that you guys are running the best driver that you can. There's two, two drivers that are really, really good, depending on what uh, GPU you have. So it is for cards that are three or 2000 series or lower. So like if you have any card that is not a 30 series card, like the new brand new NVIDIA ones, then I recommend 457.30. If you are using a card that is a three, uh, 30 series card, I recommend 461.92. I'll, I'll always recommend that, but um, that's what that is. Now, before we open up our NVIDIA control panel and, sh and show you the settings and change your settings, I recommend downloading this reg file that I have in the description. It is silk smoothness, it enables it, or it shows it in your NVIDIA control panel, and then we'll tweak it once we get into our control panel. So once you have ran this, double click this, press yes, press okay, and then open up your control panel. Now once it's open, we are gonna make sure we go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure it says use the advanced 3D image settings. If it's set, it's most likely set to this. You do not want that on, you want this on, so you can actually change and they actually do something. And don't use this either. Manage 3D settings, okay? So for sharpening, just turn all this stuff off. There's some, most of these are important, um, but I'm gonna show you guys the most important ones. And I'm gonna talk about them, but you can copy the ones that I have so far. Now, the, the first one we're gonna go to is low latency mode. Essentially, this is NVIDIA Reflex that you've seen in probably every game you've played and the up and coming games they're gonna be, you're gonna be playing. <clears throat> and this is gonna be off for me. Now, for me, the reason why I say this is because every game I play, NVIDIA Reflex. If your game doesn't have NVIDIA Reflex on or doesn't have it in the game, I recommend turning this on or ultra. If you do use it, turn on. Don't use ultra. Just turn it on. Um, but otherwise, just turn it in, turn it on in your game because that's what NVIDIA Reflex is. Now, um, if you change this setting to ultra or on, it will not overwrite whatever your game is using the game will overwrite whatever this setting is so if this is off but nvidia reflex is on in your game it will use whatever your game is using okay keep that in mind but keep this off for now max frame rate um if you're gonna set this per game i recommend doing it but most games have their own max frame like thing you can change in the game so i recommend doing that but if they don't have one then yes go to program settings and then select which game you're doing and then go to max setting or max frame rate and then change the setting. But we're not going to worry about that. It's not important. But it is recommended to cap your frame rate at your hertz or just a little bit above your hertz. Um, so if you have 144 hertz, maybe cap it at 160. If, you have one, if you're at 160, maybe cap it at 180. If you're at 240, maybe cap it at 237, people like to say. Or uh, maybe just cap it at 240. Now, for the uh, open uh, rendering GPU, just make sure this is set to your actual GPU If you, because most people might have an Intel CPU and have multiple different um, uh, GPUs here. They might have their CPU GPU and then they always have an actual, inter or an actual like uh, prefer or dedicated GPU. Make sure you have that set on your dedicated GPU. Um, for power management, make sure it's set on prefer maximum performance now. One thing I'll say right now, most of these settings don't do that whole much of a difference. Like for this, you can change it. You can literally do optimal power and it won't matter. Um, it just matter that when you're not in a game, it won't use the max performance. But once you get into a game, it will use the max performance. So just, just keep that in mind. I just do that prefer just so I can see it in my OBS, or not my OBS, in my MSN Afterburner. For preferred refresh rate, just make sure this is set on highest available. For silk smoothness, so this is the setting that I was talking about right here. So this is default set on low. We want to make sure this is off. Now it, it explains what it does here. Six, it re, it reduces stutters in games caused by variable uh, TPU or GPU workloads, and then uh, yeah, pretty much makes it so there's less stutters. Um, so if you're having like a low quality game, it might work really well. Um, but I recommend turning that on or enabling the setting so you can see it, and then turn it off. Shader cache on. Sample uh, optimization. Make sure that's on. Um, Negative uh, LOD uh, bias, go, turn that allow. Uh, the qual this texture filtering quality, make sure it's high performance. The uh, optimization right here, turn that on. Threaded optimization, this is uh, this is for multiple CPUs. If you have multiple CPUs, like I'm t like they're talking like cores and stuff like that, make sure it's set and on. And a vertical sync, make sure that's set off. You do not want to use that unless you to use it. If you have a you know, if you have a good enough computer or if you want to experience, I mean, if you're using vertical sync, you're going to notice a lot of um, 
input lag. If you use G Sync though, I'm pretty sure G Sync is just as good as regular if you have it off, but you just have the G Sync capabilities. But most people don't use it anyway, so just keep that off. You don't need to worry about that. Now you can change this as well. Your processor for physics settings, just set that to your GPU if you want to, and then press apply. I'm just gonna apply those settings there. For resolutions, you can change this if you want. You want you can add a custom resolution if you want. Color settings, I use 100% vibrance on both my monitors. People say use like 75. Um, I'm just gonna stick to my 100 that I have here. You can also do a bunch of other settings in there too. Um, for you don't need to worry about rotating. You don't need to worry about this or this uh, size. This is if you use the stretch res, you might have to go to no scaling or even full screen. If you use it through control panel or you know, GPU scaling, you can even see what the resolution would look like here. If you have multiple monitors, you can change the preferred uh, location of of how they are on your computer. Your screen would flash like mine just did if you apply those settings. Um, video color settings, you can change this in the advanced section and actually dynamic range and changes to full on both your monitors. This will just give you more color, coloration, uh, which is nice. Um, and then image, there's nothing in here that you want to change. Um, but that's pretty much it uh, for the video. Hope you guys liked the video uh, and uh, peace out.